What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope you guys are doing well out there on this raining Wednesday. I'm doing real good myself. Uh, I come across this story right here. And, and it tells about a mother that was actually in fear for her and her son's, you know, uh, safety um, due to the irresponsibility of a neighbor and his dog, okay? Now, many times you may be out and about, you might be walking, you might be riding a bike as this people right here was doing, you know, and um, a dog comes out of nowhere, you know, and threatens you. I mean, you automatically feel threatened because it's a dog that you don't know and the damn dog don't know you. And the first thing the owner wants to say is, oh, he won't bite, but you don't know that. And then on top of that, hell, every dog has teeth, you know, and being that you are a stranger, it's a great possibility that he will bite. Okay, hell, they are even even turning on their own, you know, owners. Okay, now in this particular situation, it says mother accused in ricochet shooting of her five-year-old son, police say. So let's get in this to this story, then we'll check out the video. Okay, it says here uh, in Houston, a North Houston mother is behind bars after Houston police say she fired a gun at a neighborhood dog and the bullet from her gun ricocheted and hit her five-year-old son in the abdomen. The child is now in stable condition at an area hospital, police said. A news release from Houston police said Angela Mia Vargas, 24, is charged with de well, deadly conduct discharge of a firearm. All right. um, the shooting happened in the 700 block of Durham Road at about 2.15 p.m. on Saturday. HPD investigators said they learned the child's mother fired a small caliber pistol three times at a dog running loose across the street. One of the bullets ricocheted and hit while well, and struck the boy. Um, Vargas was arrested and charged with police citing that she had fired across a public ro uh, roadway and in the direction of two occupied houses. Police said the owner of the dog was issued a citation for the dog running loose. On Tuesday, the dog's owner, who didn't want to be identified, said the six-month-old boxer pup suffered grazed wounds to his legs, but it already back well, but is already back on his paws running around. Okay, well look, keep your dog running around in his own house or in his own, uh, you know, confined you know, uh, property, like with a fence or on a leash or something. Because folks don't know what these dogs will do. And there's a lot of people getting fucked up by dogs, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's a lot of people getting hurt by dogs. Um, stray dogs at that, you know. And like I said earlier on, people that even own pets, these dogs are turning on them, you know. And I like dogs, you know what I'm saying? I, I want to get another one. I had a couple German Shepherds, you know what I mean? But uh, this is some years back. Uh but now, you know, I don't have them anymore. But anyway, uh, I've been wanting another one. But the way these dogs are acting now and with these spirits floating around in the air, I'm leery about getting another dog, you know. Now, as for this lady right here, I think she was a little bit too hasty being that the dog was across the street when, she, you know, she fired. Okay. I think, you know, uh, she was acting a little bit too hastily. Then on top of that, you know, uh, Use a bad shot. <laughs> Use a bad shot. And that's another thing with these people who, you know, got uh, concealed and carry permits. You need to learn how to aim properly, you know, because see, a lot of people getting, you know, caught up in the crossfire when you, you know, start busting cats. And that's not fair to them either, you know. And in this case, it was your own five year old son. See, so you have to practice some kind of uh, responsibility when it comes down to uh, shooting, okay? Let's check this video out and see what it's talking about. Six o'clock tonight, a wild chain of events in a North Houston neighborhood. Police say a woman fired shots at a dog running loose on the street, and one of those bullets ricocheted, hitting her own child. Yeah, that mother is Angelia Mia Vargas, is now facing a deadly conduct charge. All of this unfolding in a neighborhood on the north side, and that's where our Devin Clark just spoke to the owner of that dog. Devin, what are you hearing tonight? 
Chris Dominique, people who live on this block tell me that on Saturday, Angelica Vargas was standing right here with her son and her husband when a six-month-old boxer pup came towards them from that yard across the street. Police say next, Vargas pulled out a gun and started shooting, but her actions backfired in a major way. Meet Bruno. His owner, who doesn't want to be identified, says he's a playful pup that loves people. But on Saturday, the pooch barked up the wrong tree. So my dog just came out and started running around the grass, around the cars, and there was, you know, two people across the street with a kid. And, you know, I, I guess I saw that and I tried to get him. The owner says he never expected what happened next. He wasn't running or barking at him or nothing. He just went walking over there. The lady started screaming. Investigators say this woman, who police have identified as 24-year-old Angelia Vargas, pulled out a small caliber pistol and started shooting at the dog. Witnesses say she fired multiple rounds. She didn't even aim or nothing. She just started taking it out and boom, started shooting. Bruno suffered graze wounds in two of his legs and is already back on his paws. But Houston police say Vargas' five-year-old son was shot in the abdomen when a bullet ricocheted. He's expected to be okay, but what happened in this community has left a scar. Yeah, I feel bad. You know, I would rather, you know, my dog be shot than, you know, that kid be shot. You know, I feel real bad. At last check, the kid was still in the hospital recovering. Bruno's owner was given a citation for not having him on a leash, and Vargas was charged with deadly conduct. Reporting live on the North Side, Devin Clark, KPRC 2 News. Bad situation for Anjali, me and Vargas, okay? Uh, I hope your son heals, you know, without any uh, problems or anything, you know? Y'all excuse that damn ad. Them damn things get on my nerves. They just butt in every damn thing. But yeah, they came up with a, you know, up on a bad situation, you know, and um, I hope, like I was saying, I hope the, you know, the son heals properly and don't have any kind of complications, you understand? But the thing is, is now you on your way to prison behind, you know, acting too hasty. Now I can understand you might've done it out of fear, you know, but when it's all said and done, it is the neighbor's fault for letting that dog bolt out of the house like that. You know, because, I mean, after all, she don't know that that dog's a puppy, you know. And any damn thing that looks like a pit bull is intimidating. And that boxer looks like a pit bull. She don't know if it's going to bite or not, you know. So, I guess, you know, she <laughs> she acted hastily. That's basically what it boils down to. But, uh, yeah. Message, you know, to uh, all dog owners, keep your pets confined to your own property, man. That's what you have to do. Then situations like this wouldn't arrive. And also for gun toting, <laughs> gun toters, hey, look, don't be so hasty to point that thing and bust, you know, because you might hit anything or anybody just like you did in this particular case. All right. Y'all tell me what y'all think about the situation. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are, this is James, and I'm out. Peace.